it's time to paint again. <laughs> So what I really want to impart in this very brief tutorial is an idea of uh, how to approach a study painting. And while this painting may not really be a study in the traditional sense that it's, it's going to re be a reference for a more involved piece, this might just be the painting all by itself. But when doing a study, the, the point of a study is to play around with ideas. And what I'm doing here is, the first thing I'm looking at are the, the overall shapes. This is just uh, looking at the composition of the painting. So I'm just, in these brush strokes here, beginning to lay in the, uh, uh, the figure. The deep red and, and really dark colors in the upper half of the painting are the, the red blanket over the top of the couch and the dark red wall uh, that's behind the couch. The figure is laying on a couch and, and you can imagine that now in the in the very watered down uh, light ochre tones with all those drips. And the figure is just laying on the couch. This is uh, her back that we see. While beginning the figure, I in, instead of drawing out anything, I just lay in the shapes. It allows me to not be too confined by a drawing and then trying to fill in, like coloring in the picture, uh, but instead move the, I have the freedom to move the shapes around a little bit. This technique is called tiling where it's like laying tiles, like a mosaic tiles, where it's like puzzle pieces together. I'm identifying the different uh, tonality, which is basically the, you know, the light or the darker areas of one color, um, looking at where the colors change in their temperature. So in a sense, the color is a little bit different, where something might be a little more pink or another spot might have a kind of a grayish blue look. Where I try to identify these and then by squinting my eyes down I can see them a little more clearly. I can identify the shape of that particular color and place that shape in. And then I go back over it and smooth it out a little bit because what I want to achieve with this is uh, a skin tone that is soft and smooth and uh, somewhat you know comforting while the environment around the figure is more um, complex more deeply textured and just very in, in contrast to the smooth skin and that's another thing that I, I am playing with here too is how to achieve that uh, that sort of texture, playing around with the, the palette knife, uh, different sort of brush strokes, and this is where a study painting is so valuable. Truthfully, I think that this is how every painting should be approached. Every painting is truly a, a study painting, but if we paint on something smaller, doesn't cost very much, and and you don't feel so bad if, if you just completely botch it up. And here in these last few strokes, I feel like I've gone far enough with it and I'm ready to you know, take a break, look at it, maybe even sign it and call it complete, or at least just have a little time to uh, sit with it and, and see what changes need to come. All right, I hope that has been helpful to you. Uh, if it has, please let me know and subscribe if you want 
more art tutorials as they start coming out again.